Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Battle Chasers Night War. We are still in the dungeon, still moving around, still trying to find our way in the world. Still trying to get the hell out of here. Still trying to get items of all different types and sizes. Like 10 gold and blade leaf, which we have no idea what any of these things do, but the flints could be useful. What the hell was that? Is that a trap? I mean, that's a web. That's definitely a trap. Okay, it didn't actually fire me a second time, so I'm not clear what that was all about. Oh, hey, more lore. Hello, lore. As you from the Traveler's Guide in the Lost Isles, of course, where there was profit to be had, there was conflict. Instead of turning their attention to traveling smugglers, why select? Tribes turned their aggression towards each other, fighting over who should own the path. Peace was always shaky at best. Merchants planted evidence of betrayal and Lysolak camps to incite conflict, conveniently timing their shipments to move through the undisturbed. Tales of Lysolak infighting earned the area of its current name, the Path of Fangs. So where the hell's like the militia or something? Why is there no militia here? Also, who the heck is this dude? Hey dude, hello. You are totally not a killer. Oh, this might be Steve. This might be Steve. Hello, are you Steve? Come upon Lysolak, this one is not threatened by you, nor does he seem threatening. He is long in the tooth, gray in the whiskers. He looks at you and speaks in a gentle voice. Store your weapons. I have no quarrel with you, hairless. You can't tell with all the fur on his face, but he looks like he's smiling contemptuously. Say, do you have time to listen to a story? Sure, I guess. I mean, that's kind of why we're here, right? Games are kind of like stories, so sure. Thank you for humoring this old man. He folds his arm and tells a story, staring mostly at the fire. Okay, do I have to put on a story voice? I'm going to have to put on a story voice. Yep, here we go. Okay, story voice. Well, since it's an old man, let's do the same thing we did for Blossom Tales and do the old man voice. There was once a young pup, born under a new moon. He was the chieftain's son, had the same fur markings on his forehead. That's weird. That's actually genetic. That's actually super strange. Shut up, I'm talking. Sorry, sorry. He was the hope of a dying tribe. Much was expected of him, and he proved to be the warrior they needed. Okay, the second option. That is rude. Don't do that. That's rude. No. Go on. Go on. Go ahead. I was listening. One day, the tribe was visited by an outlander, one that didn't look like you. She was tall, carried with her a sense of power, despite her unimpressive appearance. Like I said, totally unlike you. You guys are weak. Piss ants, really. Soon after her arrival, the young chieftain, who had been so powerful and wise before, began to change. Alright. You know, it's funny, it's kind of reminded of, you know, in some cultures, it's common to say, go on after everything. You know, like in Japan, they say hi after every sentence. just means, you know, I'm listening, I'm paying attention. I guess it's the same thing going on here. You know, R2, that is rude. He is trying to tell a story here. If you wouldn't mind, R2, please. Quiet. He stops the story and turns away from the fire. Say, can you tell me what happened when the chieftain was born? Um, there was a new moon, and also I kind of feel like you're testing me, but that's a little rude because I don't even know you. He looks pleased. That is correct. Good to know the next generation can hold their attention for more than a minute. You know what, old man? I have these gloves that can apparently knock down mountains. Do you really want to test me in either sense of the word? Apparently so. The young chieftain began seeking power, invading other tribes, lashing out his own people. He realized he could save time and effort by simply challenging other leaders in single combat. His power was immense. No one could defeat him. Time and effort. Really? That's a concern? You know what I find trouble with taking over the world? It's just not damn efficient enough. Come on, really? <laughs> Despite his tribe's growing concern, he would not stop his bloodlust. The tribe would not be safe for long at this rate. Because he was going to kill the rest of the tribe? Okay. Say, Outlander, I'm beginning to feel quite famished, and that chicken is looking quite tasty. Would you care to share a bite with me? I mean, it could be a trap, but he's been nice so far, so I'm going to fall for it. Sure, sure, share a meal with you. Break some bread, what the hell? Take a bite out of the chicken. You're not sure how, but you got the seasoning and timing perfect. What do you mean, not sure how? He's lived for who knows how long. He's had time to perfect his craft. What do you mean, you're not sure how? The juiciest fish you've had in a while, long while. Okay. Yay. Don't worry, youngling. The story is almost over. Okay. 
thanks. I wasn't really worried, but I suppose the voice is kind of grating on the throat, so I appreciate that. The tribe had no choice but to continue to follow him. There are two kinds of leaders. Those who lead because they wish to do something, and those who lead because they wish to be someone. One is far more dangerous than the other. I'm guessing the latter is worse than the former, just out of context here. Say, can you tell me what tribe the young chieftain was part of me? You know what? You know what? I don't think you ever told me. I think you just said there was a tribe. I think it's a trick question. You've got a good head on your shoulders. Take care not to lose it. You know what? You know what, old man? This testing. Constant testing. Did I mention the gloves of power? Did I mention those? Things they should be mentioned. Of course, this is all a thinly veiled allegory. The tribe is of our own. The leader is our leader. Though it pains me to say it, outsider, you may be the force we need to save ourselves. Would you like to be leader? Also, do you happen to know a guy named Steve? I sense great danger in your future. Take this. Now go and leave me to my meal. He hands you a trinket and waves you away. Okay. We have the storyteller's quill for probably passing the test or whatever. All right. What is it? Quill seems to know this, what the storyteller wanted to write before he did. It seemed to carry some of its foresight into combat, along with those possess it to see attacks coming and avoid them. If we give this to Gully and she uses Taunt, that could be awesome. And, alright, I was kind of thinking that her other things would be gone, but no, alright. Great. Thank you kindly, sir, for the item that will totally let us defeat the boss. Maybe. Oh, we already came this way, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Okay. So, why is there a hammer here, though? I'm unclear on the hammer. Alright, well, let's keep moving, then. Move right along, move right along. Okay, we could open this door. Probably will, because looks like there's no other way to go. Oh, wait, I could go down here. Nope. Uh, those steps do not go all the way up. Alright. Hello, boys! Yep, knew that was going to happen. Alright. A war brute and a skirmisher. I think we got to take out the skirmisher first, right? The war brute... I mean, he's dangerous. Don't get me wrong. That sword throw of his is no joke. How about we use burst first, because it's up. And hopefully we'll be able to recharge it in time for the boss. I think we totally do that. I think we have at least another room for the boss. So yeah, shield assault. I like the electric effect. There we go. Damage shield up. Alright. Hey, guys. Um, you would like to get gut punched, I believe. There you go. Always have to oblige. And you would like to also bleed? Boy, you're gotten for punishment for sure. There you go. Alright. What are you going to do? Okay. Didn't even take down the barrier. That did, though. That that totally did. Well, for Garrison, anyway. Alright. Now's a good time to taunt. Come at her, please. She still got a barrier up, so I think we're still good. Gotta punch this guy again. Could obliterate instead. How much does obliterate cost again? 20. Yeah, I'd rather not use mana right now. So, here. There we go. One more attack from Garrison should take him out, I think. 53 damage. Oh, maybe not. It'll come really close. The bleed might finish him off. Try it. Yeah, the bleed's totally going to finish him off. Okay, great. He's out. Okay. Now it's your turn. You still have... You still have taunt up, so tell you what. Go ahead and defend. Hoping your chance to dodge happens sooner or later. You've already done Gut Punch. We don't really need to heal anybody. Um, you know what? Gut Punch again. Just so we get a little bit more overcharge, and then we can obliterate, maybe. Or heal whoever needs to be healed. And heal them for free. Okay, what about your stuff? Well... Rally Strike would be pretty good. 88 damage. Warblade would also be pretty good. Yeah, up to 60 overcharge, dealing 112 damage. I like it. That's pretty good, yeah. I mean, that's way down the turn order. 
No, actually, not that far down. I mean, the brew gets to attack first, but he's going to do that anyway. Not like we're going to be able to kill him beforehand, so yeah, just take him out. Do it. Okay, hit all of them again. That was nice. Way below half. All right, you ready to punch? Of course you are. How about you go ahead and do a guard punch? Because he's going to attack you anyway, and you need the defense up. Okay, what are you going to do? He is still sundered, so how about you go ahead and obliterate? Get a little bit of extra damage there. And actually, the blitters can take him out. Nice. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Okay, please stop quoting Darth Vader. Can we change that quote in the I and I files or something? So I would love if you would have stopped quoting Darth Vader to me. Or to anybody, really. Okay, so we're supposed to go this way. The torch or something, or a well? Oh, Shrine of Strength, yes. Drink from that fountain. Thank you very much. What is this? All right. One insider in the Chieftain's last victory celebration in the arena was frightening. He grew in strength while others died around me. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we've seen this. We've seen this. There's some guys up there. I'm wondering if we should eat something first. How far away were we? Oh, we're still pretty far. Yeah, eating the bat wing pie, maybe not yet. I mean, it would help us a little bit, though. So, sure. What the hell? How many of these do we have? Or do we have any? We're actually out of Batwing Pies. Could eat the triple, but I don't remember what that does. I mean, Rejuvenation's good. The ring, I think, we already have on somebody here, but... Um, it'd be good for Garrison if he doesn't already have something better. Okay, he had this ring. Okay, the ring we gave him is better. Um, so what does this do? Increase the attack power by 40 for a few battles, but leave you tired once the effect wears off. No. I don't like the downside of that, so no. Alright, let's just go then. Let's beat these guys up. They're asking for it. Hey, guys. So, yep, three guys this time. Alright. Hey, we actually know how much health they all have. That's nice. They're also... Okay, the standard bearer. Okay, so we gotta take out the standard bearer. That is our goal. I think we do the burst and shield up. Yeah, that makes sense. Go and do the burst. I would love to take the stalker out first. I don't know if that's possible. So I don't think we worry about it. I'm just if we do wildfire, there's a chance we could hurt him. And if we hurt him, then he comes out of stealth. But is there any reason for him to be in stealth? Does that help him at all? Increase the attack power by 50% while added. Okay, remove the damage taken. Yeah, all right. So that means he does more damage in his first attack. So we should probably do wildfire. There's a good chance we could hit him. Okay, do it. Take some mana, that's okay. Oh, but we're not going to be able to do it. Shoot, I forgot to look at turn order first. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, we'll sting the banner carrier anyways back. Standard bear or whatever it's called. Alright, I probably should have taunted, but it's a little late now. Oh, good. Okay, that actually helped. Thank you. That was perfect timing. Before the other guy got axed. Right, they get all hasted. Yep, that's poison, alright. Alright. We gotta hurt the damage bearer and get his damage down. So, tell you what, taunt. Standard bearer is almost dead. One more hit will totally take him out, and the swift strike will do it. Let's just take him. Let's just take him. You are out, sir. Back is down. Didn't even hurt her that much. Also, she has 500 health. Okay. I'm unclear when that happened, but sure. Um, I think you just gut punch. Anybody you like, really. The stalker might be the go-to here. Let's do that. They get, they're preparing something. What are you going to do? You should probably defend up because you've still got some attacks coming your way. Probably don't actually need to because you have 500 freaking health, which is incredible. But still, let's see. Your abilities here drags you down the ladder quite a bit here. The 57 to both is pretty good. Won't quite 
kill the skirmisher, but comes pretty close. Warblade will totally kill the skirmisher. Actually, the sorry, not the skirmisher. The uh, the guy with the poison blades. The knife toss is going to be really bad for us, though, and I really prefer to interrupt it. But it doesn't look like we can do that. Rupture comes close, but not really. And Rally Strike is way too late. Cleave kind of works, but it doesn't do a bleed. We don't have enough for a burst either. Sting. We'd sting you. That'll eventually get you down, but yeah, there's nothing that we have that's going to stop you. So I think we just go for the long term. Well, somewhat long term. Alright. 11 damage. No big. The poison's gonna hurt, though. And here it comes. Yep. I knew that was gonna happen. Okay. I think you just gut punch. Um, that will totally kill this guy, which is good. Stalker goes away. Bye bye, Stalker. I wish the poison went away when the Stalker did, but that wouldn't make any damn sense. Alright. Go ahead and Quake Fist. That will hurt this guy a lot. And if we make him bleed, that the Quake Fist might actually kill him. Especially if he does a preparatory thing first. She might. Yep, he's... Nope, so he's not a threat. Alright. Now he's gonna die. He's out. Uh, the bleed's gonna take him out, if nothing else does. We could burst here, but that seems stupid, right? Who goes next... Garrison goes next. You want to cleanse Garrison. At least he doesn't take any damage on his attack. And then we either wait for the bleed to kill him or we just do the attack ourselves. I think this will give us some overkill points, so do this. Alright. Doable. Another banner. Damn. Standard bearer, whatever you want to call him. Okay, that is complete. Come on, you gotta give me. There you go. Give me the check mark. Okay, what do you got here? Um, we already saw the broken leg note, so that's not a surprise. I don't know who it is, though. Got some iron ore, nothing else in the area, huh? Okay. Then, we go up. North, Miss Desmaka, north. That is my worst Lux Luthor impression ever. So much so, you guys weren't even clear who that was. Okay, yeah, we've already seen this too. It's an elevator or a switch or something? I can't get to it, so it doesn't matter. Oh, so that's this way. Okay. Uh, it's a torch. Okay, sure, light the torch. Oh! Hello! I would not have seen that without that torch. I would have just walked on by. Okay. Any of this better than what we're using? Viewed with offensive properties is better for... Well, really, offensive, that would be better for Garrison, right? So, here you go. Helmet's Jacket, also better for Garrison. So, it's basically a Garrison chest is what we're looking at. Alright, you know what? Do we need the health? We might need the health. Well, we can always just heal with you. Don't know if we need it, though. Uh, two minds of it. I don't want to waste it, but on the other hand, I don't want too good to use the drum either. Okay, fuck it. There you go. Right, wonderful. I have no idea what to expect here. I'm guessing bad guy. Oh, you must be Steve. Are you Steve? I'm going to trade over to you. Hello. Wait, wait, let's not do anything rash here. I know you've been talking to my brother. I can smell him on you. If you kill me, I'll never be able to buy my armor. Please reconsider and act. Help me instead. What do you say? You know what? I mean, I promised. We go back on our word. I don't really know if he's going to have good armor anyway. Usually the shops have shit. Usually you're far better off just going through a dungeon and picking up the loot. And then you're good to go. And any money you spend on buying stuff in the store is going to be a total waste. So from a practicality standpoint, I think we just attack him. I think he's just going to drop. Oh, he's a bomber. Okay. Okay, well, we could burst, but that seems like a total waste. Let's not do that. 
We're just gonna taunt you. No, actually, I don't think we even need to taunt you. We just jab you instead. Yeah, I think we can just take him out here. A swift strike will do some serious damage to him. Uh, gut punch will almost do it, but not quite. Yeah, not actually gonna do it. Should have used an ability on Garrison. Didn't even think about it. Yeah, 63 could do it. How much does this do again? Yeah, 63 has a good chance to finish him off. Let's try it out. There you go. That did it. Because you need to use a mana potion, but that's why we have them. That's why we crafted them. We crafted a bunch of them, so don't really even see that as a waste. Now, it might have been a waste to do that. Your rifle the merchants belong and take your satchel. Right, because the satchel is supposed to be the proof. Let's open this up. Let's go ahead and take a mana potion, which is somewhere in here. It's a small bottle, not a mana potion. Might have been confused by the fact that, you know, nothing like it. Here we go. We have ten of these. Yeah, there's no reason not to just use a bunch of these then. There you go. That's better. Alright. Let's go. Here I was worried that we would be running out of mana, and I totally forgot we made ten freaking mana potions. Alright, lots of bad guys here. Sure, Elemental, we'll take you on. And your friend, too. Who's your friend? Your friend's a lot. Alright. Sure. I'm not one to judge. Come at her. She'll take all you take you all on. I think we just gut punch. Um, who's likely to have less health here? My guess is the tracker is likely to have less health here. So this guy has a devastating area of effect. The sooner we take him out, probably the better. So there you go. Yep. Okay. That means you should have just defended, but that's the thing. You know what? I will totally use a burst. I don't know. We do have more bad guys, so I think we'll build up enough charge on the burst. Especially if we use it now. Wow, we got a crit. He's almost dead and he's bleeding. He's totally gonna die. He might have been dying this turn. That's fantastic. Alright, defend up. Don't take any damage, please. Or very little anyway. You can just gut punch this guy. I know he has Earth Shatter up just to make sure that he doesn't do anything. I'm going to hit him again. There you go. Earth Shatter is the one that hits everybody. I'd prefer if he didn't. Okay. Um, you could defend up, but I think you've actually gotten enough of a charge here. Do a guard punch. Quake Fist is pretty good. Picks you all the way down the turn order. But, let's see. Pretty much true for everything. Uh, not the scatter shot, but that's not very much damage. 66. We'd actually be doing better with the guard punch. Yeah, do the guard punch. Nice. Okay. You have enough mana to pull something off here. He is sundered, so obliterate is a good choice. And go and make him bleed. Do you bleed? Hey, we actually critted there. That's nice. Double bleed effect. Yeah, the thing is, she has like a lot of health. And you don't. The bleed will probably take him out. I mean, if we could heal him, great, but I don't think they're gonna. Yeah, we're not gonna have a chance to heal Gully. I'm hoping the next perk point she gets, we can get the heal automatically on her too. That'd be great. She's taking all the damage though. Well, she does have the highest health pool. I mean, it's kind of her job. As a tank. Hold on, I was getting that item. Rude. Rude. Okay, so I think we'll just defend. I don't know what the hell you're going to do, but... Yeah, just everybody defend. We can't target him anyway. A random might be able to do something, but it seems unlikely. Plus, we'd have to use mana for it, no matter or not. It's okay, what are you going to do? Poison, of course. What else would you do? Okay, well, now we can just bash you into the ground, I guess. 
Hopefully before the poison takes too much effect. Okay, that's actually great because now Swift Strike will finish you off. I did the math correctly, even without knowing the value of X. I can still roughly approximate it. Totally worked out. That should get for being rude, man. I was looking at loot. And I can't even tell if I got the loot anymore. Hope I did. Okay, so we lit this and there's no twerk. Or there's no uh no chest there. Chieftain's left for another benefactor. Yeah, 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 we've already seen that. Oh, there is a chest up here though. Oh, maybe it just activate just turns on a chest somewhere. Okay. I mean that's good for crafting at least. Yeah, so maybe that's why we want to do the chest. Okay, or do the torches. Totally open this. Hello guys. Alright, three. No, only two critters. I just want to saw three. Okay. I mean, I think I agree with her. I think this is going to be easy. Let's go ahead and taunt. Draw on their attacks. And then I'm going to burst. Not really useful at this stage, so I think you just gut punch. Now the bat will try to dodge, so I think the more we do on this, the better. Because who knows when he's going to... Yeah, sure enough. Evade up. Okay. That's expected. Go ahead and punch this guy. The defense up we get in that. Sure enough, that's a miss. Can you hit him, please? Thank you for showing Gully how it's done. Total whiff. I mean, the bleed helps, but the bleed's over now. Okay, Shield Assault Battle Burst is ready. Yeah, I know. You have the Battle Burst available. I guess she's saying that because she's way low on health. We should probably heal her. You need your other ability, though. Heroism, Protection, Barrier Swing. Scatter Shots are not bad. If you do a Scatter Shot here, there's a good chance she'll hit the bat. Yeah, go ahead and do that. You should heal her. Use your ability. Healing Wave. 131 health right on her. And if you want to do cleave or something, um, it's way below her though, so chances are the bat will already be taken out. But just in case she misses, cleave's probably not a bad idea. So cleave on this guy. Is she gonna miss? She did not miss the bat. Okay. Thought for sure she was going to. Uh, Many times like to heal there. There you go. Oh, wow. That is actually a fantastic heal. Go ahead and punch that guy out right now. Okay, so I gotta remember to take her down to half before we heal her because otherwise it's kind of a waste. Good to know. Always nice to know these things on the battles that don't matter too much. Just basically getting some experience. Sure, light the torch. That might open up a chest somewhere else. Oh, another torch. Sure. Hmm, I mean, it lit up the room nicely. I'm hoping another chest opened up somewhere, but I don't know where. So maybe? No. Hmm. I wonder... We do have some ability here left. I wonder if I, like, smash here. There's got to be, like, cracks in the wall or something I better look for, right? Seems unlikely it would just be... Something random showed up, so hit something. Okay, we go through this door. Hello? Oh, there is a chest here. With traps. With traps. We made it through. Okay. Oil of pain. I'm guessing we use this in combat and throw it at them or something? Causes the next five hits to deal 20 additional piercing damage. Okay. Cool. Sure, light that torch. And then a lever popped. I have no idea what that lever did, but I'm sure it did something awesome. Maybe it stopped the traps. That's very likely. Woodcat mushroom. Yeah, that's got to be it. It stopped the traps. Okay. I'm just glad we didn't have to let another torch for it. We're using a lot of our flint, and I do need at least one of those. I need two more. For the, uh, for the forge. But we're not ready for the forge yet, anyway. Hey guys! Would you like to party? You would! How great! 
Okay, let's party then. Let's party with Burst. I think that's appropriate. Gives everyone some shielding. Let's go. Okay, who do we attack first? I think we gotta go for the skirmisher, right? It's kind of weird. I kind of thought we had the health pools for these guys, but for some reason not showing up now. Okay, skirmisher, here we go. I think he's the weakest one, but I'm not sure. Okay, gut punch, of course, skirmisher. Okay, well, guys, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? All right, that's not too bad. Anybody else? Okay, that that's kind of expected, to be honest. 113, huh? Okay, somehow Garrison also has an immense health pool. How did that happen? In fact, he should probably be the tank. Making her taunt doesn't make any sense anymore. So, in that case, I mean... She's the only one with a barrier, though, so I think she's still got a taunt. Yeah, go and taunt. Your gut punch would still be pretty good here. Go there. Build up an overcharge. Overcharge is basically all I want you to do right now. Your ability, though. If you cleave, that's pretty good. Good chance of doing some decent damage, but there's no way it's taking you down. Hmm. Warblade would probably take you down. I don't really think we have enough overcharge to make that worth it, though. Rally Strike, though. That's some interesting ideas. That would probably kill him. Plus the haste. Let's do it. Okay, this is last action ever, possibly. Yep, last action ever. Okay, so he's prepping something good. She's got her... she got uh, depend. Yeah, it's the only option there. Okay, tech up for everybody. What can you do? Let's see. So we do Gaia's Fist and everyone gets healed if you beat on the Brute, say? Gaia's Grasp, sorry. It's funny, it says Gaia's Fist and then it says Gaia's Grasp. Interesting. I guess Gaia's Fist applies Gaia's Grasp. So this guy is pretty dangerous with his big sword move, right? So let's go ahead and attack him next. Okay, yeah, see that move right there? I hate that move. Punch him a lot. Everyone gets healed if you attack that guy. Please attack that guy. Um, yeah, keep, keep on attacking that guy. If you want to do an ability, that'd be great too. Guard punch is pretty good. Quake Fist would be awesome. Let's take you down a little bit though in the turn order. Don't love that. But I think that's true of everything, right? Protection moves you up a little bit, but who are you going to protect? Brett could probably use it. I think this would protect him more, though, right? By taking him out? Or helping to take him out. Yeah, do that. Nice. Okay. He is going to do the sword throw again. That sucks. Okay, you have to heal. Um, either yourself or somebody else. Probably yourself, though. So go ahead and do a healing wave on yourself. It is 15 mana. That's okay. We have lots of mana potions. And then, if you want to do, do an ability here, Cleave's not too bad. Rage Wave would also pre work pretty well, but it does take you down like, way down in the turn order. Do Warblade. That's better. Still not great. Rally Strike might do it here. I mean, it's, either way, in the turn order, you're still down. So, yeah, do that one. Here comes Sword Throw. He does love that move. He does love that move. Well, that's why we have the heal. There you go. Not quite taking him out, though. Close, but not quite. Let's see if we can do that with the jab. Okay, the bleed will totally take him. So he's not going to be able to do anything else. There we go. He's out. Just want to take the advantage there, huh? Okay. You need to heal again on yourself. Sorry. That's, that's the way things go. If you want to make this guy bleed, that'd be great. Thank you. 
Okay, the chopper is kind of like not even an issue. We could burst here, but I don't think we need it. Go ahead and barrier swing. Then that should protect. Yeah, that should protect Brett. And Brett needs it. There we go. Okay, there's the bleed. We have enough to do another ability? Sure. Rally Strike again or Warblade? Warblade might take him out. Do it. He attacked first, though. He just loves going against Brett here. That is rude, sir. Defenseless robot. Well, not totally defenseless. I guess that's not exactly true. Okay. Again, doing dentistry. Why are you guys doing dentistry? And do I need to ask where the hell you got the wool straps from? That's also a little disturbing. Group healing, please. That barely did anything, unfortunately. We're just too high level for the that to have done anything. It's a minor group healing class. One more time. Okay. We came from that direction, I think. Oh, there's a lever up there, so no. Oh, as I would pressed it. We're in the right area. There's bad guys around. Okay, well, let's keep going in this direction. I'm expecting the captain to show up pretty soon. But I have no idea when or where. Captain, my captain, where can you be? It's full of activity on the path recently. Almost all trade merchants began to swear the route off, save the bravest or most desperate. Rumors suggested large shipments of unidentified cargo entering under the cover of night, and while many life slots poured into the ar arena, fewer and fewer were seen leaving. Perhaps most alarming were stories suggesting a strange aura or pall hanging over the arena, like a dark cloud, encouraging both man and beast to take a wide berth. As a result, communication with the Siege Coast and Junk Town has been cut off almost completely. Well, we'll try to re-engage that, but I can't promise anything. Well, hey guys! What would you like to do today? You would all like to attack me. Okay. Well, the Bombardier is pretty dangerous, but I don't think he's as dangerous as the Brute, right? The Brute's pretty freaking dangerous. The Bombardier is tough, but he's not as tough as the Brute. So I think he's got to go first. So I think we burst and save everyone a little bit of trouble. Just a little bit, though. Thank you. Much appreciated. All right, they are prepping something that's always disturbing. And of course, the brute is prepping a sword throw. I wish we could interrupt. That'd be fantastic. Sadly, it's not something we can do. Hello, slime. They just love hitting on the robot, don't they? War machine, whatever you want to call them. Ah, uh, gut punch this guy. Okay, the bleed's nice, but the sword throw's gonna suck. Yep, there it is. Hello. There was a bomb. Oh, right, we're ignited. Right, I forgot that was a thing. Totally forgot that was a thing. Um, go ahead and jab this guy. We might be able to take him out, maybe? It's gonna be tough. Um, let's see. Gut punch again. No, I need to do 100 damage. I don't know if that's possible right now. I mean, with Warblade, yeah. I guess you go after the slime. That's not too bad. Yeah, do that. Okay, the slime is prepping something. We don't know what. Oh, corrosive spit. That's not so bad. Okay, I mean, that's a lot of potential damage there. Let's see. Increases magic damage taken by 20%, but the fire is not magic, so that's okay. I mean, you guys should stop, drop, and roll, really, but I suppose it's not possible right now. How about you just go ahead and defend, or... We could use a barrier, then the burning would take the barrier instead. There's a lot of people going before we go, though. Protection is good. Put protection on your friend. OMG shield, I like that. Okay, so then you should probably either cleanse or heal yourself. Either one of the two. Cleanse, probably not a bad idea. That will get rid of the burn. Go. Oh, it didn't actually take care of the magic thing. Oh, okay, never mind. The burn is always going to happen because this guy's a jerk. Okay, we got to take him out first then. You're going home. Bye-bye. 
Bye bye. I mean, the slime is bad too, but he's not as bad. This guy's only level seven. There's no reason why he should be causing us any kind of trouble at all. If we burst and purify, that takes care of the burn. I kind of want to save the burst for the boss, though. And the boss has got to be, if not on this room, then the next one. So I think you just heal yourself. Yeah, healing yourself for like four turns. Not a bad idea. You have... I mean, you have mana to use. If you use Scattershot, that'll help. So sure, do that. Okay, gradually healing yourself. That's both of them. I like it. Then Swift Strike this guy, or use an ability. Cleave is good. Deals 52 damage to both of them. Almost kills the slime, not quite. We do, of course, go after the slime. That's how it goes. Do it. Yep, yep, yep. Damage on you. All right. Poor Brett. Cave Slime is almost out, but so is Um, If we Gut Punch either one of these, I think they just die. Gut Punching the Slime will absolutely kill it. Gut Punching this guy, maybe will kill it. I think we do this, and then Gully hits the Bombardier with just a jab attack. I think that's solid. Cave Slime out. And then you jab this guy, and he's out. Exactly what happened. All right. You think we'd know the bomber, the bomber's health by now? But we know it now. I guess we won't know until we look at the uh, the bestiary. Let's look at it now. Let's see what we have. Let's see, well, gunner, cave spider, ruined spider, and a warden. Oh, bomber! Here we go. We do not know his health. We need to defeat at least one more. Yep, at least one more. Okay, well, so it goes. We need to feed a hundred of those to get a really big bonus. What do we got here? Iron ore. Okay, so we did some mining. Ashes from the Traveler's Guide. Eventually, the waste of energy and resources became too much for the life slots to bear, and a meager peace was brokered. Tribes would bring their fiercest warriors to a newly constructed arena, buying for dominance through brutal combat, with the victor taking the lion's share of the spoils. More and more tribes began to participate in the promise of great power and riches. As an unexpected benefit, the structure and organization taking root allowed smugglers to begin making deals and paying fees to move through the path of things on the arm. That's cool. For you guys, not so much for us. Minor Tome of Knowledge for somebody. Perk point within a hero for somebody. I have no idea who to spend it on, so we're going to wait. I guess we can go to the perk button here. Let's see. You have... Well, you've already used all 12 of your points. Giving you another perk would not help you right now. Okay. Whoops. What about Calberta? He has three points remaining. Giving him a fourth would give him defensive matrix, which is only a so-so power. Of a garrison. He's already used him until 12. Yeah, so I think we just wait until we get more perk points. Then we'll decide who to put it on. The book's not going anywhere. Okay, faint condensed mana, which apparently is used for something. Okay, light the torch. Sure, why not? Hard to tell if there's anything good here or not. Oh, that's interesting. We went above that. Can't do it again. Oh, no. Okay, we did it that side. Not from the other side. Interesting. Oh, and we're actually towards the end of the episode, but where are we supposed to be going? We're in the final room. There's bad guys over here. Oh, I wonder... Hmm. That, I don't remember being there before. Do we have to go all the way back? That is crazy talk. But there is some kind of icon there that I don't remember that being there before. A little archway thing. Might have to head back. Well, I mean, theoretically, that's what this teleporter here would let us do. I mean, it seems weird there's only... One entrance. I was kind of expecting this to lead us out the other side, but no such luck. Light this torch, too. What the hell? I do anything aside from let us be able to see? Looking for, like, a chest or something showing up, but I don't think so. No such thing exists. Okay, then. 
Well, so much for that. We do still have lots of punching ability left over, but I never know what to punch in. I'm sure there's something. Oh, right, this door. Okay. Which maybe... Okay, just leads us north. I don't see any people. There's... Oh, maybe this does something. Hmm, if it did, it was secret. Powder. I mean, this, the loot is good, don't get me wrong. Did that open up the door? I don't see how. Open up something on this side, maybe? I mean, there's clearly something down there. Maybe there's... Not sure how we get down there, though. Did not open anything on the side. Okay, I was worth a shot. Just to see if there's anything over there, but no such luck. Alright, so... Guess we're in here for one more episode, guys. This has been Battle Chasers Night War. I'm PC Universe, you're PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.